my friends. It's Mandy and for those of you who are just tuning into my channel for the first time, I am the owner and curator of Brick Road Co, which is an online clothing boutique focused primarily on the app Poshmark, but you can also find me on eBay, Mercari, and a few other reselling apps. So check out my links in my description below for all of the places that you can find my products and hop over to Instagram when this video is over and give me a follow if you like this content. Give this video a thumbs up. I would love if you're not already subscribing if you hit that subscribe button. So also if you want to be notified of when I make a new video, the best way to do that is to hit that bell notification because it will send you a notification when I upload new videos. It is Saturday and the weather is gorgeous and I frankly need a break from social media and listing and whatnot. So although I do have a rack here that I need to list of clothing and my children have some things they need to list. We're gonna go have a little bit of a family day today because it's been a really, really rough week in our world. So my grandma would have been 90 if she would have been here on earth with us this week. So I was struggling with that as well as with the death of Kobe Bryant from the Lakers and his daughter and the other families that were affected by the helicopter crash. So that was absolutely devastating and really emotionally got to me because I am a huge Kobe fan and we're kind of a big basketball family. So it hit us hard. And then additionally, my husband lost an uncle this week um, due to a motor vehicle accident. I just feel like we were hit extra hard this week. We've had some other personal things kind of going on and everyone's been sick. So it's like, you know, those weeks in life where you're like, can stuff stop happening now, please? Like that's kind of where we've been at. So we just decided we're gonna have a fun day today of doing all the things that we love. Started out our day by sleeping in, which is something a lot of us, you know, even on Saturdays, I don't think a lot of us get to do and our family doesn't. So we usually have like soccer tournaments or something going on uh, or Kaylee's working. So we all slept in. And then we had Dutch Bros because we love Dutch Bros coffee and Greg made an amazing breakfast while us girls took our time getting ready, which a lot of times we have to get ready pretty quickly for either school or, you know, life is just hectic and we're like frantically getting ready. So we took our time getting ready and you can tell because I actually kind of feel a little fly today, how I'm feeling, I'm feeling fly. So what we're going to go do is run some errands um, and you're like family day running errands. But what I mean by running errands is we're just gonna go throw my sales into a Dropbox for today's reseller sales. So I've got my stack, Greg, thank you, Greg, already packed those up for me this morning. Then we will go to um, a couple thrift stores and after that, we're going to stop at Ulta. The girls have gift cards from Christmas from my mom to go spend at Ulta. And we're gonna pick up a Redbox movie and probably do fast food for dinner and just kind of be low key. And while we're out, we're gonna film some TikToks and I'm gonna do some vlogging. So come with us. And then I will do a haul from what I thrift later in another video. So um, this is just going to kind of be like a Benson family um, vlog and thrifting adventure. So come with us and see what we find. I do. I think it looks like my cat. You think the pug shirt looks like your cat? It looks cat. like my cat. So we went thrifting for like three hours and found so many good things. I'm really excited for Greg because we've been on the hunt for a lot of sports stuff for his closet for some time, for stuff that's not Colorado teams, and we found a lot today. So I'm excited about that, and I'm very happy with a few shoe choices. So I tried to give my family some new brands to research, and it paid off today. So I gave them three brands of shoes to keep an eye out for, and they were, does anyone remember? Something about birds. All birds. Yeah. All birds, Bionic, and Rothy's. And Greg found two pairs of Bionics. So, yeah. Um, the girls also found some cool Brandy Melville stuff. And we found some Anthro. I found Eileen Fisher, Adriana Papel, North Face. So, yeah, I'm really excited for the spring stuff I got. I got a lot of spring stuff, and I'm super excited about that. So, we're going to be doing a haul in a little bit. Well, not today, but I'll be doing a haul video and we're gonna go run some more errands.
graceful, graceful. What's up everybody? Happy Super Bowl Sunday. So it is Super Bowl Sunday and you guys probably won't get to see this until after that. So we'll have to see who wins, oops, who wins this one. But um, as you can see, I am not sporting any team gear for either of the current Super Bowl players. Um, I did spend a lot of my childhood at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City because I grew up in the Kansas City area. So um, I'll throw in a couple embarrassing childhood photos here and perhaps here of me being a baby chiefs fan but um i've always been a closet broncos fan i was born in denver my heart is in denver i loved john elway when i was a little girl so that's the team that i will typically be found rooting for but being that they are not in the super bowl this year um greg's dad loves the niners my dad loves the chiefs so really we're just kind of waiting it out to see who wins and we're gonna enjoy some good food in the process it's february and it is like 70 degrees i have my windows open my daughter is cleaning my car Greg's cooking up some good food and Kaylee is working away at the grocery store so you guys don't get the mother-daughter banter that you love so dearly with this haul video you're just gonna have to put up with boring little me so we'll get started with our most recent um, half off thrift store haul that we went and did as a family so if any of you follow me on Instagram you can see that we did pick up some shoes so I'll go over those because those are a brand that was new to my family so that's kind of a bolo brand as far as shoes and then um, we'll just kind of run through the haul. I'm really excited. Got some spring stuff. Everything was half off. I am pretty eager to get this stuff up and listed. So we're already getting everything listed. And hopefully we'll have everything up for sale here this week in my Poshmark closet and the eBay store. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a really weird thing and then go put it away. And then we'll go with the rest of the haul. But I'm really excited about this. So it was half off day. So this was $1.50 and I needed a new flower pot for a peace lily that I've had since my grandmother passed away in 2008. In June, this peace lily will be 12 years old and I received, our family received it as um, condolences from a longtime family friend. And so when we were inundated with a bunch of plants after my grandmother passed away, my mom was like, can you guys all take some? And I took this peace lily that has since grown and bloomed so many times over the years and it's still thriving and it's in my bathroom right now. And we've been looking for a, a flower pot to transplant it to and I don't wanna spend a lot of money on that. So we got this bad boy for $1.50. I'm so excited, it's perfect and just the right size. So that's my personal win for thrifting. I'm just gonna go put this flower pot away and then we'll go through my actual haul for, for my closet. All right, so the other little home goods thing that I got that I forgot I had purchased until I was putting the flower pot away is this cute little plaque. It says, good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know that they're always there. And it's by a brand called Natural Life. They have really cute stuff. This was 99 cents half off, so this was 50 cents. I've got a friend that I am imagining this for. So I got three pairs of shoes yesterday and the first pair is a pair of nude, a pair of nude patent leather Circus by Sam Edelman slingbacks and these are in my size and I love them and want to keep them. So I don't know if this will make my closet or not, but look at the little metallic trim there. These are pretty much everything I need in a spring shoe and they're my size. So I might keep them because they're so cute but those should comp around 25 if not. And there's a little scuff on the shoe, so we'll see if I can get that off or if I'm just gonna have to keep them. <laughs> Next up, I talked about this brand in my recent Instagram post and the brand is Vionic. I know about this because of a friend of mine who is a posher and Instagrammer and she goes by 2.a.rachel and that is because there are two A's in the name Rachel for her spelling. I thought that was super cute when I learned the meaning behind that. So you can find her on Instagram and Poshmark. She is the one who told me about this brand. So it is Vionic. And these are the amber sandals in a size 9. And those comped for about 30 to 50. Sold. We got some size 7.5 suede walkers. And these are, they're both, I don't think they've both, either of them have been worn. And the walkers go for about 50 to 55 
sold. So that's probably what I will list them for. So essentially, if I get asking price for those two pairs of shoes, I've paid for the duration or for the duration for the rest of this trip. So the rest of this would be pure profit, ideally. So those were the shoes that I got. We did not find any purses or accessories. We did find some things for Greg's closet. And for those of you who do not know about my husband, Greg's Poshmark closet, he is found under the Instagram name Benson Fan Cave, and that's also his closet name on Poshmark. And he is an avid sports person. He loves all sports. And so we decided, because he is often with me when we're thrifting and he saw a lot of sports, like sporting equipment and accessories and then like team apparel that he wanted to start a sports focused closet. So go check out his closet if you have kids in sports, if you have a favorite sports team, whether it's pro or college, because he has a lot of awesome items in his closet and I'll go over his stuff as well. So we hit the 50% off um, sale at one of our local thrift stores. So I will start with what we got for Greg. There was about 10 different Arizona State shirts and this one has a very light stain right here. So I'm going to see if I can get that out because I did not see that in the store. But this is a Russell Small Juniors Arizona State tank top. And that's got the red stitching there and the gold graphic. And also Russell Small is a polyester, more of like a jersey look, Sun Devils tank. So those will both be in Greg's closet. I've actually been to that stadium for a K-State game back in the 90s, the Fiesta Bowl. It's a really cool stadium. Also cool college. This reminded me of my friend Megan. Love you, girl. Um, there's some, for those of you ladies that know what this is, that's fashion tape. And that kind of keeps... Like you can tape down your seams to keep them like adhering to a bra so when you lean down your shirt doesn't hang down. That literally just peels off just like that. For those of you who don't know about fashion tape, it's freaking awesome and it's been used for many, many years in Hollywood. That's why no one ever has like shirts that sag or gape or anything. If you notice, they're always like the hems are perfect all the time. It's because of fashion tape. Don't shy away from fashion tape on clothing if you find it it's literally as easy as pulling that off so this is a texas longhorns size medium women's v-neck shirt and this reminds me of my friend megan love you girl she's one of my biggest supporters and she's a huge longhorns fan so this is a stanford nike scoop neck size small athletic cut women's shirt we didn't get any men's stuff yesterday sorry dudes well, we did score for the ladies i love this it's a tie front new york yankees and it is a size small this doesn't look like it's ever even been worn i think that is so cute if i was a baseball fan man i might rock that because that's pretty slick however i would be more likely to rock this because this is my team so growing up i watched royals baseball and this is a Nike athletic cut as well. Women's medium V-neck Royals shirt. I like that one a lot. More Nike. The, my girls and I were like, I basketball Nike. I love basketball. I love swoosh. I basketball love Nike swoosh. So we're kind of joking around about this one, but Greg loves this one. I mean, honestly, it's just like, I love basketball. It's a double XL Nike dry fit. And I don't think it was ever worn. It looks new without tags. So that is it for what we got for Greg's haul. So if you're interested in any of the items that you saw for Greg's portion, um, you can either DM me on Instagram and I, we can work something out via PayPal or Venmo, or you can find these items in his Poshmark closet in the upcoming days. And again, his closet is Benson Fan Cave. So moving on to the rest of my haul, um, I did pick up a couple Torrid t-shirts. This one is a size two, and I'm focusing on spring and summer wear. So this has the two palm trees and a heart, and it's got the scoop neck. And the other Torrid, was a size zero and this one just says rock and roll forever tour reminds me of like kind of like a johnny cash-esque look to it and it's got the cuffed sleeves here crew neck and again size zero so i like that my closet i try to have every size and i have men's women's kids i have petite sizes i have a little bit of maternity Sometimes I even have like nursing scrubs. So I really try to keep a variety of items in my closet that I know people would be inclined to want to pick up secondhand, so. Um, next up is a North Face women's t-shirt. It's a size large 
And I just love it because it has this beautiful poppy graphic on there. And I am an avid gardener and I love flowers and poppies are actually some of my favorite. I love this one. So just screams, screams spring. I think this would be adorable for Valentine's Day, honestly. This is an anthro and the name of the anthro brand is knitted and knotted and that's what their tag looks like. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, yeah, that's anthro. And then I touched it and I'm like, uh-huh, I'd be willing to venture. So then when I ran comp, I don't know, I fell in love with this one. I think this would be absolutely adorable for Valentine's Day. It's very feminine. It's got this tie on the back. Look at that. Oh. I will be likely modeling this one in my closet because one of my goals with this new haul is to model as many items as I can or force my daughters to help me model. So, okay, next up is a loft v-neck. I think this was 99 cents, if I remember right, or a dollar. $29.49. It was under $2 and I will keep this for 4th of July this year. I want to wear this. I think it would be really cute. So I've got some plans on how I'm going to style this and then I will sell it. So if you look really close, it's got little beads on the skirt and little glittery shoes and like her little collar has beads on it. So how cute is that? Loft, extra small. While we're talking about the things <laughs> that I want to keep for myself. When I thrift, there's certain personal items and I'm sure you guys have them too, that you're like, oh, if I ever find a blank, I'm totally keeping that for myself. And for me, one of those things is like a friend's sweatshirt. And I would have preferred probably one that just said like friends, like the TV show, the logo, but this one, I will absolutely 100% love and wear. I'm super excited about it. So I'm keeping this one for myself. It will not be for sale, but I'm so excited. This only cost me $2 and it's official. Like it has the Friends the Television series. So I'm like, oh my gosh, so excited about this. Love it, love it, love it. While we're talking about things I'm gonna keep, one more thing. This is not official merch, but it's probably was on Etsy or Amazon or something like that, or somebody made it. However, if you don't know this about me, you will quickly learn this about me now. I love James Charles. Love, love, love him. I wear his palette. I'm just obsessed with him. I love him. I feel like this mama bear sense of like, I'm proud of him when he has achievements and I've been proud of his personal growth. I love how involved his parents are in, in his daily world. And if you follow him, you'll see that in his YouTube videos. I have a sister's shirt now. So even if it's not official merch, I can't even tell you how much excitement it brings me to have this shirt. So I don't usually pick much up for myself, honestly, when I'm thrifting. Like most of the stuff that I keep for myself are things that have like little holes or things that I can't repair. And I'm like, I'll just wear it because I don't care. That's typically the things that I keep when I go thrifting, unless it's just something that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And Friends is my all-time favorite television show, 100% hands down. James Charles is one of my all-time favorite YouTubers, 100% hands down. So I'm so excited to have both of those shirts. Next, things that I'm actually going to sell. Um, this one is Cometois, and I believe this is an Anthro brand or a Nordstrom brand, I can't remember. But it's got the blush pink with the white polka dots and this cute little tie on the neck there. So this just screams spring in every sense to me and this would be something that you would catch me in with like some white skinny jeans and maybe some nude pointed toe slingbacks you know by sam edelman see how cute that would be wouldn't that be just absolutely adorable pair it with some really cute gold accents oh love it's a size small by the way hey this is one that my daughter lauren wants to keep but i'm not letting her this is a brandy melville black romper with pockets these are so cute with like a really bright bralette underneath them brandy melville is if you don't know one size fits all which really means one size fits pretty slender humans truthfully you know if you're busty it's kind of hard to fit into some of their clothes now, i got two shirts that are very similar but this is a really good brand. It's Adriana Papel. Here is what the label looks like. This stuff can run really, really expensive, especially the formal wear, the dresses and whatnot. But I got two of these, very similar, but they are different. So once you look at them closely, you can see they are slightly different. This one has the roushing in the middle there. They both have the keyhole in the neck and they're both sleeveless. And they both have that shark bite bottom to it. One's a medium and one's a large. It almost makes me wonder if this was like for a family photo shoot or something. But I thought Valentine's Day, 4th of July, red's a really, really good color to have in the upcoming months. This one is from the Disney store. So this is actually from Disney Parks and this is a Star Wars shirt that my husband found and it's so cool. It's a men's extra large. It's navy blue and it says join the rebellion. And I think this is super cool. The irony of 
this shirt and this shirt. This one says Disney Parks, and I apologize. I'm getting a ton of notifications in a group right now, and it's really distracting me on my phone, so I apologize if I keep stopping and like staring at the screen, but the irony of both of these, this one's a Aerosmith Rock and Roller Coaster, which is a ride in one of the parks in Disney World. What was crazy when we found these is yesterday was a year to exactly from when we were there at Disney riding these rides. So not there, I was riding a 3D Star Wars ride the same day. Um, and then we rode Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower of Terror. We did like the whole Toy Story area as well. And it was one year to the day that we were riding these, like almost to the minute that he found these. So it was kind of weird, but cool at the same time. Um, both of them are from Disney Parks. So when you're looking at Disney merchandise, if you find one that says Disney Store or Disney Parks, that's how you know that it actually came from the Disney Store or from Disney World or Disney Land. Sometimes they'll say, I think, Disney Springs on them. But then you've got some Disney merch that you can find at like Walmart and Target. So these typically make you more money, but this one has a little bit of lightning around the collar and Kaylee, my oldest, wanted to keep this. So we're gonna go ahead and let her keep this because we were there at Disney for her competition for dance. So it's kind of like a nostalgic thing and that was actually one of her favorite rides. And that was the ride that my husband puked afterwards. I feel so bad. He puked and puked like, the fireworks were going off and I'm like, look how pretty the fireworks are. And Kaylee and some of her friends were riding the rock and roller coaster for the second time. And Greg's like up chucking over in a corner. So I felt so bad for him. But then I got a taste of nausea because we went on a 3D Star Wars ride and I was so queasy. I left my phone in the seat. I had to go back to get my phone and then 3D things were really getting to me after that. So I did not ride Avatar at Animal Kingdom. And I know everyone thinks I'm crazy, but the 3D rides like, I don't know, there's something about them that make me super motion sick and nauseous. So mm, I don't do those, but I'll do some thrill seeking rides. So if you've been to Disney World, you guys tell me what your favorite ride is in the comments down below. Hands down for me, Everest, loved that ride. It kind of messed, I think it messed up my back a little bit, but I loved it. Uh, rock and roller coaster because it's fast and I love speed. And then Tower of Terror, I loved as well because I love those drops and that adrenaline rush that comes with that. So if you've been to Disney, I want to hear what your favorite rides are down below. And if you've been to Disneyland, we've never been there. So tell me what your favorite rides are there because that's going to be hopefully on our trip list at some point. So back to the haul. This one will be for sale in my closet and it is just so cool. Look at that shirt. Isn't that neat? We tried to comp it last night and couldn't really find one like it. So I always love that because that means it's unique. So this is one that is definitely up my personal alley. I love the Soft and Sexy by American Eagle. It's just really, really soft, really lightweight, super duper comfortable. This is definitely a Mandy-esque shirt with the pretty floral embroidery pattern there. This is awesome. It's a Rolling Stone Rock and Republic shirt with some nice studding here on the neckline. And I just, I thought this was super cool. Um, Rolling Stone shirts tend to do well. This one's like brand new, so this is a Kohl's brand. Oh, and it's a large. And this is a cute little boho brand. It's called Flying Tomato, and it's a size medium, and this is just a really cute cropped length floral shirt. So again, I'm trying to curate some things for spring and summer. Why is my, it like literally I'm getting this thing over and over again iPhone not backed up. This iPhone has not been backed up. Like it's done it about 25 times in addition to my group messages. I'm about to go crazy. I don't know why my phone is obsessively telling me that at this moment, but it's straight driving me nuts. There's the cute little tassel that comes from the neckline here and a nice wide sleeve. I just love this look. Isn't that cute? Like a medium wash, high-waisted jean, like with a button fly would be so cute with this. One of the very few long-sleeved items I picked up was this Lucky Top, and it's because it has just a really cute vibe to it, in my opinion. It's got this these nice, like, antiqued gold buttons here, and then it's got bell sleeves, and it's in a nice deep blue and tan color. It's got that v-neck, so you could pair that, you know, you could wear that alone, or you could put that with, you know, something underneath it, but it looks kind of black on the camera, but it is blue, so it's really lightweight, and I love Lucky, and this was marked really, really cheap. $1.50, I believe. This is another American Eagle Soft and Sexy, and I just love the look of this. It's got that 70s boho vibe to it, so if you guys aren't 
picking up on kind of what the vibe of my closet is. I've always been kind of a boho girl. This is a brand I've picked up of jeans but never tops. This is NYDJ and I just loved the pattern on this. Sheer, this would be really cute with a bright bralette of some sort. You could even, is this a button up? Yeah, so with these button ups, sometimes in the summer, I think it's really, really cute to take the front and tie it. So then you get more of a like a gathered look. So you could really make this look very cute with a pair of high-waisted jeans, like pretend it's gathered like that. See, wouldn't that be cute with some high-waisted jeans? You can open it up and tie it. This is a size small and it is a pretty deep V. Like it, that's how far down it goes there. So soft and sheer and then does have that pin tuck accent here along the top back. Next is another American Eagle Soft and Sexy. This is just your plain tie-dye v-neck purple. I just like tie-dye. Again, has that boho feel to it, and I love that color. This is super cute crop shirt. This is gonna be perfect for summer, especially for somebody who's like really into TikTok and all that kind of stuff. Totally has that Charlie D'Amelio vibe. Maybe Charlie wants to buy it. It's a size medium. This is called Rumors Boutique and it's actually a boutique out of LA. So when I priced this, I was very pleased with the comps and I love this little open back with the gathered elastic right there. This like just screams Coachella to me. It's totally got that Coachella vibe. Next is a Life is Good shirt. This is a brand that my husband and I love. We love the messages that are on them. We love the patterns. It's really whimsical and like nature-like and just positive vibes. Their stuff is really, really soft. So I actually found this in the men's area, if I remember right. And this is actually, it says women's right here, women's XL. Their crusher tees are really, really soft, like vintage feeling tees. And then this one just has the single tree and says life is good. So then usually they have that on the back. This looks like it's never been worn. And I'm really happy to have some of like some more extra large, some more plus size, some more torrid for spring because I didn't really have as much to offer last spring and summer. So that's exciting. Another North Face, and this one is really atypical for North Face. I'm used to like the athletic-y looking stuff, so this made me so happy. This is a an uh, anthro, a North Face Lorella crochet back tank top in yellow, and I just think this is absolutely darling. It is a size medium, and again, doesn't look like it's ever been worn. Oh, I just love it. So cute. Next is this. I don't know if I really need to explain it much more than this. Um, Truthfully, I hadn't anticipated that I was gonna for sure buy this, but I took a video and tagged some um, other resellers, Jack and Ryan. Ryan's flip, oh my God, what is wrong with my brain? Ryan's thrift finds and flip thrift, good God. Ryan's thrift finds and flip thrift. And they have a pug named Mike and this just reminded me of them. So I took a video and then I threw it in my cart and it was under some stuff I'd already inspected and was distracted when I was checking out, doing about 20 different things, didn't even see this get rung up. So here we are, but they comp for about $15, $20, so I'll just throw it in with all the other quirky weird shirts we've got going on. This one is a brand that I have had good luck selling before. I believe it's Macy's or Nordstrom's San Suchi, and we just pick up ones that have good phrases. So this one says, act like a lady, think like a boss, and I'm not quite sure what that really means. I am confusion. I don't know. It kind of confuses me, but I also think it's kind of empowering. So I don't know. We got that. <laughs> it was 99 cents. <laughs> Next is Vineyard Vines. Just, you know, your standard pocket tee in pink. It's cute. Size extra large. I think that's like youth girls extra large. Last few. Cynthia Rowley, sleeveless polka dot cream top with this cute collar here nice and sheer size medium i love that it's like polka dots but then almost like coffee beans too i don't know i thought it was cute this is an extra large women's blue cold shoulder v-neck burnout pocket tee that's a mouthful it's soft it's cute and i saw another sold that was i think 18 so this is Simply Southern. It reminds me a lot of Vineyard Vines and Ivory Ella and those types of brands. Most of them have the bow right here and say Simply Southern. And then some of them have like a little turtle tag here. 
And then they usually have some different message on the back. So this one, like I have one that right now, I don't remember what it is. It's Christmas themed, but it has a boat. So it's nautical and Christmas themed. This one talks about sisters side by side or miles apart. Sisters will always be connected at heart with two little puppies. Those usually go for anywhere from 20 to 25 typically, and it's a size medium. So that is it for my haul today. Hope you guys enjoyed my little spring haul that I have. Um, I've been kind of switching up my closet in 2020. I'm trying to curate more boho items. And last year when I went full time, I started accepting consignment and did a lot of volume. And I was just really trying to build up my business in my closet. And so this year I'm really focusing more on curating items that I think reflect my personal style and the trends that are out there right now. So I tried to go with a lot of the um, Pantone color of the year. So you can see a lot of the blues in here. And then of course, you know, you picked up on a lot of the boho and spring um, trends. So sheer fabrics are gonna be really, really in with some beautiful bralettes and undershirts. So I tried to pick up some sheer fabrics to help with that. And then polka dots are going to be again in. So I picked up a little bit of that. Lots of whites and light colors for spring. So, uh, you know, I hope you've enjoyed a good start to February. I feel like the last week of January was hellaciously bad. So I'm really excited for February to be here and just to really kick booty. So I'm going to go enjoy some of this beautiful afternoon weather and Super Bowl Sunday. So see you guys next time. If you like this kind of content, will you please hit the like button and tell your friends if you think they would enjoy my channel. I am hoping to get a thousand subscribers by May. Um, it's been really slow going over here on YouTube and I'm hoping to build on to some momentum with that. So I would love to hear your thoughts and support. Um, feedback, good, bad, whatever you guys want to see, I'm here for it. So I hope you enjoyed this boring haul without my lovely children to make fun of me and make this a little bit more silly and interesting today. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notifications if you want to be notified when I upload my next video. I do try to do that in the middle of the week, every week at the very least. So stay tuned on Wednesday slash Thursday. And you can, if you're a Jenna Marbles fan, you can hit up Jenna Marbles and myself at the same time. So that's kind of cool. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.